Do you ever feel overwhelmed by what it takes to become successful? Hi, I'm Deborah Kozowski, three-time best-selling author, speaker, executive coach, and the host of the Millionaire Woman Show podcast. Today, I want to talk to you about tapping into your resources. Your success doesn't depend on how many resources you have. It's about how resourceful you truly are. So what does it mean to become resourceful? Resourceful means tapping into your own personal strengths and realizing that there's ways around you in a pinch to figure out how to get some of the resources that you need. Sometimes that comes in the form of knowledge, skill, ability, money, people. There's so many resources that we could be leveraging, but sometimes we get caught up in what's in the moment before we can realize what resources are available to us to figure things out. So I'm going to share with you three ways. There's many more ways to become resourceful, but I'm going to share with you with three key ways. And one of the things that I'll also recommend to you is check out my TED Talk on packing a difference into a shoebox. This is an event that involved many, many resources of people. And it all started with the idea of giving a shoebox to a child, which expanded beyond belief into serving many schools, many children with shoeboxes filled with treasures and much love. So check out that TED Talk when you get a chance. TEDx Talk. So. What, how can you become more resourceful? Being more resourceful is really about building and nurturing that strong network. It has been said that your network is equal to your net worth. Now, I don't want you to go in and make relationship with people to get something or to take something from someone because it's inauthentic. People can feel when you're wanting to take from them or you're trying to get something from them or you're picking their brain or you're out for self-service, not creating win-win situations. So don't wait until you need help to build relationships, but move into relationships, getting to take interest in people, finding out about their family, what occupation they're in, what do they do for fun, and, you know, there are many different things. What's meaningful to them? When you start learning these things, you not only find out ways that you can help someone, but you can also get to know, like, and build that trust factor with others so that you feel comfortable in supporting or referring people to them. So Zig Ziglar said, you will get what you want in life if you help enough people get what they want. Doesn't seem that hard, does it? When you can help others, you will have what you want as well. And how does that happen? Many different ways. You know, often people will think money or time. So I want to share with you some other ways that you can build resourcefulness and helping support others get what they want. One might be just a listening ear, providing meaningful conversation, encouragement, and support, and having someone believe in them. Two might be offering a book, an article that you come across that might be related to what they're working on, something in life, something that might be even a recipe, something that is of interest to them to show that you paid attention to that individual conversation that you had with them. You might nominate them for an award or offer a referral once you feel that you trust that individual with your network. You might have an exchange of money. And it might be a group that you belong to that is part of a social status. Now, there's a law of reciprocity. And it basically says, when you help someone do something nice for, for them, you will have deeply a psychological urge to do something in return. So when we do nice things for other people, you know, it is natural for people to want to offer something in return. So you might even reciprocate with going far beyond more generous than what was done for you and vice versa. So that's a very powerful way to build relationships 
I know during the pandemic, I've seen restaurant owners support each other in a variety of ways of ensuring that their doors stay open. So it has a profound impact in tapping into your resources in time, money, you know, could be in the form of knowledge, could be bartering skills and trading, so many different ways. But often when we're faced with a circumstance or we're too proud to ask, we miss out on opportunities to be resourceful. Number two is committing to continuous learning. You need to learn more to earn more. Set yourself up for success. You can leverage knowledge and ability to support others and never underestimate being self-taught or the DIY process. You learn much of your experience through experiences and there's no cookie cutter way to get through anything. So even though you share the way you've done something to another person, they're still going to have their own experiences, but they can still learn from some of those ways in which you approach things, the things of what to do and what not to do, and it still can accelerate their path. Number three is delegating your weaknesses. Now recognize that your strengths and weaknesses, knowing them is important. You want to delegate where you don't feel your strongest as it you'll find that it takes a lot of energy and effort to do where you're not strong. And you can save that energy and strength for where you love to play, to where you excel the most, to where you can deliver the best results. Now, there's several freelance providers like Upwork.com, Fiverr.com, and many others that can support some of those needs. There might be some people even locally who can best support you as well. Do not try to be the Lone Ranger and do everything yourself. Now, Theodore Roosevelt said, do what you can with what you have where you are at. Now, much of our resourcefulness means tapping into our strengths within, our perseverance, our determination, our intuitive and also that investigativeness that figure things out. I know that you can figure things out. Think about some of the resources that you have available. And one of the greatest resources that you might not be tapping into is your questionability. Being able to come from a place of being curious, to define the what ifs in a positive way, and to move in to positive action. Thank you for joining me. Now go out and be resourceful. Go to my website at www.debrakazowski.com where you can download your three-part video course on making habits stick, where you can have that support system built in to build focus and consistency into those goals and dreams of yours and make them a reality. Now, if you're interested in coaching, please DM me or send me an email at debra at debrakazowski.com and I can set up a discovery session with you to see if we're the right fit so we can have you drive forward towards success with ease. Thank you again for joining me.